How's it going, you guys? New Age here, your coach of the Antelope Valley Agrons, and we've moved to a, another competitive league. I don't want to say a different competitive league, even though it is different, but it, it's not because I hated the other league and left it for this one. It's because that season is over, and we're moving to season one of this new league, uh, the WPA, I don't know if I said already, the World Pokemon Association, we're still the Alamo Valley Agrons, I'm still New Age Steel, and uh, the only thing that has really changed is our draft. Uh, so, this will be my video going over what Pokemon I chose, why I chose them. Um, it, got really <laughs> it got really random at some point. Um, I was really just kind of having fun with this draft. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it, go over the mons, why we chose them, and all that stuff. Um, so I want to say, for the NPCC, I was going for, like, as much bulk, I want to say, as I could. Um, not really trying to be, like, a super fat team, just really more of a defensive team. Um, and granted, I liked a lot of the team, it just... <clears throat> There were there was never a point where I felt like I was like really in control, you know, like I'm just like dominating people. So I decided for this league, I wanted to give myself the potential to basically try and sweep somehow in like every single game. So I wanted to choose like a lot of setup sweepers. I didn't get all the Pokemon I had intended for. Um, and towards the beginning, it was just kind of random going off of my original list even though stuff kept getting taken so i wasn't making changes accordingly and then towards the end was me trying to like pick up uh coverage and that kind of thing um and resistances and all that so i think this is as good as uh close to the order as i think i chose them in but anyways anyways first off i'm, I'm gonna go alakazam first we got wolfgar as our mega alakazam um just having first off it has Magic Guard as Alakazam, which is really nice, meaning, like, I'm not weak to hazards, uh, which is a thing I was really weak to with my MPCC team. Um, so I tried really hard to either not be weak to it or just, like, have ways around it. Uh, so Magic Guard Alakazam is one of the things I can always come in on, like, full health or not worry about getting injured by those kinds of things. Uh, but then having the Trace afterwards I thought would be a lot of fun just to be able to play off of our opponent's abilities. Uh, while still having like insane uh, special attack and oh my gosh 175 <laughs> I didn't even know it was that high that's crazy and speed um, as well as like you know I can run a lot of like random different things you know because Alkazam is one of those Pokemon where you always need coverage but in a league format you don't necessarily always need that coverage because you know what Pokemon you're going up against so you know, say a normal uh, Alkazam could maybe run, like, Focus Blast to hit, like, Steel types or something like that, or Dark types. Well, if they conveniently don't have a Steel or Dark type, then I don't need to run Focus Blast. Or if they just have a Dark type, I can do Dazzling Gleam over Focus Blast. Or maybe interchange them for something completely different. Uh, so having, like, that ability to do those things I thought would be really nice. Uh, so next up, we got Excadrill, my man Dig Dug over here. Um, Again, another potential setup sweeper. Uh, it also helps me, like, if my opponent's team is running sand, then I can try and capitalize on that. Also, Mold Breaker is, like, such a huge help. Um, just, like, even, like, a Scarf Mold Breaker set can, like, run through so many teams because a lot of people are like, oh, my ground resist is... or my switch into a ground move is a Pokemon with Levitate. Well, that's not the case for Excadrill. Uh, so that really helps out and like I said another potential setup sweeper with like life orb or air balloon and like swords dance and that kind of thing um, Plus a spinner that is not weak to uh, Really stealth rocks and can't be poisoned by toxic spikes uh, So just a lot of utility in Excadrill. I really like it. Uh, I wanted to feel a little bit more for my steel pokes this time around uh, Also, it's a thing that's not really weak to Magnezone, so that's cool I mean, I guess if it's on an air balloon, but I don't think it can one-shot me either. Just because I'm not like four times weak to fire or something like that. So, uh, next up we got Pangea the Crustal. Um, this one was more, I was thinking as a hazard setter. It gets Stealth Rock and Spikes. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, it doesn't get like toxic spikes or anything, but then it gets things like knockoff. Um, you know, a lot of utility. And then also it's like really bulky. And at the same time, it could be a potential uh, setup sweeper with access to like shell smash or home claws or things like that. Um, so this one was just a real easy pick for me. Uh, I just wanted a decent hazard setter. Also, I saw um, when we went up against the Green Bay Pikachus, this thing was tanking hits for days. 125 defense, that's pretty good if I can just invest like fully into defense. Uh, that's a good hazard setter right there. I like it. Uh, so next up, I wanted to get, first off, a different type. I wanted to get a few more types to work around. Um, and another setup sweeper. So we got non-dairy over here, the Slurpuff. Uh, this one's just super simple, like unburdened citrus belly drum. It gives you max attack and then like a pretty decent speed. And then you have access to recovery through like drain punch and stuff like that. And you know, even like in special attack and regular attack are the same. Um, actually, no, special attack is higher. So if I randomly wanted to do like a special attacking set, that'd be cool. It also gets access to heal bell, screens, magic coat. So I could use this as like an entry. I could use it as like a wish pass. Uh, a lot of different things that I could use it for, not necessarily just a sweeper, which I think is really cool about a lot of the setup sweepers that I chose. It's like, you know, uh, they can be a sweeper or they could be a hazard Pokemon. And I feel like that puts my opponent at a lot of 50 50s because they have to choose like all right well do i allow them to get up their hazards like for free and stay in and like and like try and attack them or like what do i do you know if i switch out they could maybe like set up and go to like plus six on me or something uh so i just like the um the kind of pressure it puts without even having to do anything yet in the battle you know uh so i really like the ones that I have so far. Uh, so next we got Choice Specs, the Flygon. <laughs> uh, I have some plans for this thing, it'll be fun. Uh, Flygon, uh, I kind of stole this one off of um, off of my man Brad, aka U-Turn Crobat, aka New London's Aurorks, who I still don't know if they won the NPCC or not. I'm pretty sure he was in the finals. Um, he killed it last in that league, uh, for sure. Um, but I remember in his draft video, he was like, I wanted a Pokemon that wasn't weak to hazards that could also get rid of hazards. Well, this thing has levitate and it's resisted to rocks, uh, so it doesn't get hit really by anything and can defog them away. So this is a nice defogger on top of like having a rapid spinner as well. So that way it's not like, oh, he's brought Flygon, it's going to be his defogger. So now let's take advantage of that. No, I could bring Flygon and... Uh, Excadrill and then they can say well one of them could be like choiced in some way and one of them could be for hazards But you don't know which is which uh, I don't want it to be like last time Crobat or Golbat was the only thing that could get rid of hazards So like if they brought that they kind of knew it had to have had defog, you know this way It doesn't have to have defog. I can play around with different sets with it um, And you know Flygon just being a good Pokemon in general uh, Speedy strong all that good stuff uh, so yeah, Flygon, really easy choice right there. Oh, I didn't mean to click right there. And uh, next up we got Nightlight, the Zeb Streaker. Um, I didn't want Mega Manetric this time around. I actually really did. I loved using Mega Manetric. It was so much fun. Uh, but I wanted something that had a bit more utility. Uh, it's nowhere near as strong as Mega Manetric. Uh, but it does get things like Lightning Rod. Um, and I can always switch into lightning rod, but then it also gives me another immunity and sap sipper So it's kind of cool to have like immunities on the team uh, That's kind of a thing I was keeping an eye out for so already we've got like, you know Dig dug not weak to toxic spikes wolf guard not weak to like any hazards when it first comes in And then we got like levitate with the fly gone and then he now we have lightning rod and sap sipper or motor drive Whichever one we want to go for we can't get hit by any of that stuff um and the difference between Zebstrika and um, Manetric is Zebstrika still has really nice speed, um, as well as the option to like run a Life Orb to make its special attack higher on top of Lightning Rod. And it has a lot more coverage. Uh, just a lot of different things I could do that, well, maybe not a lot more coverage. I know it gets like, it's, it's basically like another Mega Manetric. I was going to name it Back in Black 2, but that wasn't going to fit. <laughs> 
Um, but this is just something that I wanted to have fun with. Uh, this one isn't necessarily a set of sweeper. Um, towards the middle of my draft, I started thinking more like immunities to things. Uh, so that's why I chose this one. Uh, just having like coverage. Also, I got Flygon with U-Turn and I can give Zebstrika the uh, Volt Switch. So having a nice Volt Turn going on, all that fun stuff. Uh, so let's get to part two of the draft. We got Underbite, our Steelix over here. Um, I just wanted like another like really strong wall. Um, as well as, you know, another potential hazard setter and uh, a phaser if I needed that. And, um, you know, this thing can be a setup sweeper too. Like, sheer force, um, like rock polish or something like that. Like, this thing can put in work. And like I said, I wanted to go with uh, my steel Pokemons again. So, I'm just loving this. Uh, sorry, people keep messaging me about stuff that's gonna happen today and I'm just keeping an eye on it. Uh, so yeah, Steelix was a pretty easy choice. Um, just having another strong steel type too, cause I know like steel types are, steel types are just good, you know? Uh, so I wanted to go with that one. Uh, it's a pretty simple set, nothing too crazy, but like I said, I know Steelix can put in the work. Uh, so that's why I chose it. Uh, so next up we got Goose, the Porygon too. Um, just, another bulky Pokemon as well as like a normal type. I wanted something for like ghost switch-ins just because I had Alkazam and stuff like that. Um, also, it has Trace as well. So I figure, you know, once again, using their abilities against them is fun or we can go analytic, get stronger or download, get stronger. Like all of Porygon 2's abilities are really useful. And then Eviolite with the defenses are really nice. It's got access to like a lot of coverage, um, a lot of different sets I could run. And uh, Thunder Wave is going to be fun, I'm sure, at some point. Um, it has good recovery. Like, Porygon 2 is just one of those Pokemon that I was like, alright, this is going to be a good one, uh, no matter what. Especially, like, it can wall certain Pokemon so well with, like, Trace and stuff, too. Just taking their abilities and using it against them makes it, like, way, way harder for them to capitalize on certain things. So, Porygon 2, really easy choice right there. Um, also I want to point out again, like Steelix, another Pokemon that's like not weak to Toxic Spikes, also not weak to Stealth Rock. Uh, Spikes is a thing, but, you know, like I said, I still have some, like, switch-ins for things like that where they come in safely. Uh, so, next up we got Grape Drank the Vaporeon. Um, after seeing my team, I was like, I really need a Water Resist. Like, big time. And an Ice Resist. Um, because my team is fairly weak to those things. So, Vaporeon my man hella easy it's like even if it is a pokemon that has coverage and can hit vaporeon super effectively um while still being like a water type or something um like ludicolo for example vaporeon is still bulky enough to where i could take hits um and it gets reliable recovery and things like that and then another immunity i figured like well why have a resist to water when i can have an immunity to water uh so this could be a guaranteed like water counter for sure um, just having the bulk and then, you know, another type that we didn't have is going to be really fun. So that's why I chose Vaporeon. Pretty simple. I want to start getting like a little more coverage towards the end. Um, I actually went uh, Conkledur next. So we got Veins for Day as the Conkledur. Um, just another type that I didn't have. Actually, I want to say too, um, I did choose Steelix as a flying resist because I was afraid of I'm pretty sure Talonflame is a thing in this league. I don't know who has it or if anyone actually did get it. But that's, uh, I wanted something for that. Well, <laughs> my bad. Um, so that's another reason why I chose Steelix. Um, but Conqueror, like I said, another type. Uh, I also wanted a Status Absorber. Uh, so Guts will be fun with that. And, you know, all, uh, Conkledur is another one of those Pokemon where like all of its abilities are really good. Uh, so that'll be fun to exploit and it's just like a powerful Pokemon in general. And it gets some nice priority which I didn't really have that last time, last league, and I still don't have that. Damn it! I keep forgetting to get priority. Um, so Conkledur will be like my one priority user. Um, and then a lot of coverage and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, a lot of these Pokemon, some of them are just like good, you know? There's not like a necessary reason, and I would just feel like it works for a team. So the last Pokemon I chose was What Am I, the Sigilyph. Uh, just having like Magic Guard again, another Pokemon that could come in that's not weak to rocks and stuff like that. 
Um, this was kind of a last minute choice, uh, just because I 6 0 a guy on Pokemon Showdown in a random battle with this. I even beat a Yveltal with a Sigilyph, like stalled it out, it could not beat me, it was hilarious. So I thought, you know what, let's bring Sigilyph, see what kind of work it could do. It has pretty decent speed, a really solid special attack, and it gets coverage like crazy! So many good moves! And then, you know, I could either run a bunch of like attacking, I could run Choice Scarf, Choice Specs, um, I could run that like super stupid uh, Psycho Shift set where I put burn on everything. Like there's a lot of things I could do with it that I'm gonna have fun with and not being weak to hazards again is gonna be a pretty cool thing to do. Um, and then it has like reliable recovery and trick and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my draft. Uh, the battles will be coming out soon, should have a team builder out before the battle obviously. Um, but I kind of got a dip because I got some stuff that I had to do now. Um, so yeah, guys, tell me what you think about the draft. Leave some hashtag AVAs down in the uh, comments. And uh, yeah, leave a like. Hopefully you guys look forward to our first battle. Wish me luck. And uh, I'll see you guys soon as we get into the competitive league, the WPA. So until then, I'm New Age Still. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.